Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Hendrickson, parent educator with Eden Prairie Schools. And I'm sending you this video before our first class, online class discussion, um, to kind of take this opportunity to introduce myself, give you a little background about myself and my family, and also to set the tone for our upcoming um, and future discussions as a group. Um, so I'm Stephanie, I have two kids. My son Jimmy is 29 and my daughter Anna is 26. Um, a little background on my parenting experience. Jimmy um, is adopted, so I know some things about adoption. He also has special needs, so I am very familiar with the world of special education. Um, and um, Anna was born 10 months after Jimmy came to live with us. So I'm one of those people that adopted and got pregnant. <laughs> and, it, and it all turned out for the best because Jimmy was two and a half when we adopted him. So there is three years between my kids. Anna's a nurse. My daughter Anna is a nurse. She lives in Massachusetts. And I don't get to see her as often as I would like to. I'm also divorced, so I and I have been for um, almost 20 years. So I have some experience co-parenting um, with a parenting partner. Um, my hope for you for this class, and for I guess for all of us for this class, is for us to feel safe, supported, and respected. And also to learn something um, because I'm a teacher and I'm here to teach you something. So keep that in mind. Some group guidelines or I guess some things to think about that I also would like to um, you to consider as goals perhaps for our, for our class is that you consider this class um, a shared responsibility. Um, and that we are all in this together. We're going to create, we're working to create our learning community. And in order to do that in a way that works for everybody, I need to hear from you. What will help you feel safe, supported, and respected? Um, I also am hoping that we all hear everyone's voice equally. Um, it's, it's important that we all feel comfortable talking and sharing with the group. I know there's going to be days, especially with these online classes, that you're not going to be able to participate um, in the way that you would like to, and of course we will totally understand that. Um, in addition to hearing all the voices equally, um, my classes, our classes in ECFE are about supporting, not judging, and respecting and valuing um, our differences because the diversity and differences and, and learning about um, other people's life experiences that maybe are different from ours is a way for all of us to actually learn more and learn better. Um, we also, I also want to make sure we respect each other's privacy and that what we talk about in our group discussions um, stays in those in that space um, except for if you learn something really great and you want to share it with your friends maybe without naming names um, feel free to share um, the other last thing that I want to say and this is really important to me and this is why I started my introduction by kind of telling you a lot of stuff about myself um, personally is I really appreciate and hope that we can all be authentic in our discussions. And some of the qualities of authenticity, um, just so that you can think about this and maybe we can talk about it at our next, our first class is number one, be yourself. And one thing I know about being yourself is sometimes it takes courage to do that. And I hope that we can support each other in being courageous and being ourselves. Um, being authentic also means acting with good intentions and motives. It means being kind to the people around you. And it also means living in the moment and being a good listener. Again, I know being uh, parents of young children, it is often really difficult to stay in the moment 
and to be a good listener. But I'm really hoping that you can set aside um, this time each week um, to practice that skill of living in the moment, being present, and being a good listener. Um, and then the last thing that is a, is a quality of authenticity is being open-minded and fair to opportunities as well as people. Uh, speaking of authenticity, I want to tell you a quick story about one of the early year classes that I taught early in my career and when we were actually in person sitting in a room and going around the room talking about what, why people were there and what they were hoping to get out of the class and as we were going around the room people were saying kind of the typical things they were there so that their child could learn how to get along with other kids. Um, they were there to hear ideas um, from other parents and they were there to learn some things about children. And one woman um, said, as it, as it got to her turn, she said, I'll be honest, I really wish I was at Target right now. <laughs> and I was a little bit taken aback as a new teacher because I thought, uh-oh, she doesn't wanna be here. But then I, what I really realized, what I realized, and I, and I believe it to this day, is that she set a great tone for that group of being authentic, being honest, um, and it was funny. And to be honest, probably half the room um, probably wish they were at Target. Anytime someone was taking care of your kids, right, that's the first thing you wanna do is go shopping or um, go to Target. That's that's what that's just an example of um, a moment when I really appreciated people. Someone being authentic. That was my phone ringing. Um, when we meet for our first video discussion, when we meet online, I want you to think about this. And this may, might be um, the first time we hear your voice. Is I'll ask you to introduce yourself, tell us who's in your family, and then share one thing that you'd like to learn in this class. Because again, I'm a teacher and it's really going to help me be a better teacher if I know some things that you want to learn. I am looking forward to meeting, meeting you all and I'm really excited and quite frankly really honored to be part of your parenting journey. See you soon.